everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to Maniacal Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a movie discussion on Everything Everything. This is an adaptation based on the novel Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. I originally wasn't planning to read this book for my May TBR. Since the movie was coming out, I wanted to go see the movie and see what my thoughts were after reading the book. I have done a full book talk on Everything Everything and I'll link that up on the eye if you want to go and watch that video before you see this movie discussion. I do have to say I did enjoy the movie a lot more than the book and for me that's saying a lot. Since I hardly ever watch film or TV adaptations of books I'm always afraid that the writers and directors will ruin the story or change too much of the story from the book which is one of the reasons why I hardly ever watch adaptations but I wanted to give this one a try and I'm glad that I did. I enjoyed it a lot more. If you don't know what this movie is about, this movie follows a girl named Madeline who's 18 years old and she's never been outside in her life. This is because she has an immune disease and if she goes outside or comes into contact with anything that isn't clean, she'll die. She's okay with his life. She's had a pretty happy childhood. She lives with her mom, who she's close to, and a nurse named Carla, who's been taking care of her for a long time. She's alright with his life until she meets Ollie, a new neighbor who's moved in across the street. That's pretty much all I can tell you if you haven't read the book or watched the movie. So if you want to go watch the movie and then come back and watch this video, you're welcome to do so. Like I said earlier, I enjoyed the movie a lot more than the book. I was more invested in Maddie and Ollie's relationship in the film because even though in the film Madeline and Ollie are primarily communicating through text messages, their text messages were imagined as if they were close together and actually talking to each other in person. Because of these imagined scenes, I got to take their interactions more in a new way in the film as opposed to the book. I felt that their relationship was more alive this way, as opposed to me just reading their IM messages, like in the book. I also enjoyed the side characters in the book. My opinion of them didn't change in this film, um, as opposed to the book, so my opinions were mostly the same. Carla's daughter, Rosa, was briefly mentioned at a certain point in the book, but I'm glad that we actually did get to see her in the movie and to see her actually interact with Madeline. I'm glad that uh, we actually got to see Rosa this time around in the film. Also, in the book, Ollie had a friend named Zack who met them in Hawaii, and Zack wasn't present in the movie. I'm glad about this because I felt that his character was just a stand-in in the book and a way to comment on Ollie and Maddie's relationship. It wasn't really necessary for him to be in the book in my opinion, so I'm glad that he wasn't present in the movie. Also, because I was more invested in Ollie and Maddie's relationship from the beginning in the movie, I enjoyed their interactions in Hawaii a lot more, and I could really feel the chemistry between them when they were in Hawaii in the film, as opposed to the book. The plot progressed in a similar way in the film as it did in the book. Because some of their text conversations were acted out, I felt that the plot didn't drag on like it did in the book. I also enjoyed the visual representation of the astronaut in the film. In the book, Maddie mentions that she feels like an astronaut at some points in her life. This was shown well in the movie because it showed how Madeline was feeling in some of her connections with Ollie and how she feels in the world in general. So I liked seeing the visual representation of the astronaut. I thought that was really cool. During the time that Maddie and Ollie are in Hawaii, I liked those scenes in the film, but I was kind of taken aback when Ollie and Maddie were in the room and sex just sort of happened between them. As opposed to in the book, Madeline mentioned that she did get condoms. Ollie and her discussed that in the book. But in the film, this just sort of happened. And it was just sort of implicitly understood between them. But I would have wanted them to talk about it. So 
I didn't really like the film's way of them not really having a conversation about sex and Madeline just implicitly agreeing to it. So I was surprised by this, but I still liked that scene in the movie. I thought the twist of Madeline not really having the immune disease was executed well in the film, similarly like it, it did in the book. I also liked how the film wrapped up similar to what happened in the book. It was such a sweet romance in my opinion, and because I was invested in Ollie and Maddie's relationship from the beginning in the movie, I really liked this film. I also really enjoyed the closing credits to this film and how the closing credits featured animated versions of David Yoon's drawings that were in the book. I thought th this was a really cool way to end the movie and it was a nice homage to the book. If I had to rate the, the movie, I'd give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked the romance. The relationship between Ollie and Maddie was just much more believable and emotional, in my opinion, in the film versus the book. I wouldn't reread the book again, necessarily, but I would watch the movie again in a heartbeat. For me, my enjoyment of the film all came from the relationship, and I think the relationship was done much better in the film. This was definitely the main reason why I enjoyed the movie a lot more than I did the book. Those are all of my thoughts on the movie of Everything Everything. Comment down below and tell me what your thoughts on the movie are, if you've seen it. Do you like it more than the book, less than the book, or are your feelings about the book and the movie the same? Even if you haven't read the book, I would totally recommend that you watch the, this movie. It's a cute, sweet romance, and a movie that I really enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!